you know, a lot of people have sent me questions about lawn tractor electrical problems, and uh, it's gonna happen. To, it's gonna happen to you at some point or other. You're gonna sit down in your tractor, turn the key, and nothing's gonna happen. So I want to show you one of the first couple of things that I do to troubleshoot an electrical problem in a lawn tractor, and how to jump start. Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure none of your safety switches are tripped. Make sure that deck lever is off, or if it's electric PTO, make sure the switch is off. You also want to check to make sure your parking brake is fully pressed down. In this case, it's locked. Sometimes that switch can go out of adjustment, though. So make sure you're pressing down hard on the pedal. Some tractors, the shifter has to be in neutral in order for it to start. So make sure it's in neutral. So if your switches are okay, next thing you should check is the fuse. This one has a uh, fuse kind of like a car. This one is a 15 amp fuse. You can look right in the center of it and you'll be able to see if it's blown. This one is fine. Sometimes a blown fuse isn't so obvious. So if you have a multimeter, you might want to put it on the ohm setting and check the fuse just to make sure. Yep, this one is good. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you have a good battery connection. No corrosion on these terminals and uh, make sure that the bolts are on tight. You also want to make sure that you uh, have a good ground. While well, this is rusty, it's still on here pretty well. If it's loose, that's no good. So if your battery connection is okay, the next thing I do is check to see if the solenoid is bad. This is a three terminal solenoid. This terminal here is the positive that comes off the battery. This terminal down here is the hot that goes out to the starter. And this little terminal here uh, comes from the ignition switch. When I turn the switch to on, this wire is energized with 12 volts and it sends a signal to the solenoid that tells it to complete the circuit and allows your starter to crank. Some solenoids have four terminals. There'll be like another little terminal somewhere on it. Uh, what that terminal would be is for a ground. This one grounds to the body. A lot of them do, but some of them they have that extra terminal used for grounding to the body. Um, so anyway, to test if your uh, ignition switch is working, because you might have a problem with your ignition switch maybe, or the wire in between here and your ignition switch, I'm going to use my uh, multimeter. and uh, put it on 20 volts DC so that we can measure the 12 volt output. So I'm going to put the negative test lead to the negative terminal on the battery. Then I'm going to put the positive test lead to the uh, terminal that comes from the ignition switch right here. Now when I turn the ignition switch to start, I should see voltage on this meter. I should also, obviously, since my tractor is working correctly, I'll hear the engine crank. Here we go. Yeah, that sounds about right. My battery's a little weak, plus the draw from the starter actually working. So if you're getting voltage, but your uh, engine isn't cranking, that means that the circuit coming from your ignition switch is okay. So if when you turn the key, you're not getting 12 volts at this terminal, that means that there's a problem somewhere with one of your, either one of your safety switches or your uh, ignition switch. Because if I trip one of these switches, like if I, if I turn on the deck, and then I turn the key to start, I get no voltage. So if you're getting voltage coming out of here when you turn it to start, and your engine isn't cranking, Let's pretend for all intents and purposes that the engine is not cranking. I would put my uh, positive test lead on this lower terminal here. This is the one that will, would be energized when you turn the key to start to crank this. This is the terminal that goes to the starter. So I would put my test lead here on this terminal that goes out to the starter. So obviously when I turn this to start, 12 volts is now coming through there. 
So I'll ch Okay, so I'll turn the key on and obviously I'm getting voltage out of there because I can hear the engine crank. But um, if your engine's not cranking and you're getting 12 volts out of here, that means that uh, you have a problem in between here and your starter. It could be your starter's bad, could be the wire that goes from the solenoid to the starter. Could be bad. Maybe it's not on tight or maybe there's a little break in the line at the end of the connectors or something or maybe short it out. Turn your switch to on. Then you take a regular metal screwdriver and you want to short these two terminals. One of these terminals is the terminal that comes from the hot on the battery. You can see easily on this rear engine rider. And the other one, this big, big red one right here, is the one that goes to the starter. So what you're going to do is manually do the solenoids job and jump these two terminals with the metal uh, end of your screwdriver, just like this. The engine will begin to crank. If you have a tractor that doesn't have a good battery in it right now, or if you uh, suspect there to be a problem in between the solenoid and the starter, or if the uh, solenoid is in an inaccessible location and you can't do the little screwdriver trick. Then you can start it with a jumper pack or a car battery and some jumper cables. I have a jumper pack so I'll use that. We take the positive end of the jumper and put it on the terminal on the starter. Then we take the negative end and we hook it to the negative post on the battery. Now if the negative post is not accessible, like if your battery is in the back, obviously uh, you wouldn't be able to make this reach, then what you do is you hook it to what looks like a good ground, some good piece of metal somewhere on the engine or on the uh, body itself that doesn't have a lot of paint or rust on it. Uh, this bolt here might be good. Let's give it a try. Then if you're using a jumper pack, just turn the switch to on, and the engine cranks. Then if it cranks, but it still won't start, you're not getting any spark, then what you're going to do is try pulling off the kill wire. This is the wire that comes from your tractor's electrical system that grounds out the coil when you turn the key to off. So you could have an electrical problem, so if you pull that off, you'll rule that out. You also want to make sure that this is not touching any metal because if it is, it'll likely be grounding out the coil if that's your problem. So that's my basic troubleshooting guide for lawn tractor electrical systems. I hope you found this video useful. It should at least get you started. Best of luck to you.